first hunt with my tethered Skeletor climbing sticks. Last hunt of the season for me. So I got my tethered sticks packed onto my pack, going in back on the public land. I'm onto my mystery ranch. I've actually got my saddle and my extra winter clothes inside the pack with some food and water and other basic stuff. Packing a little heavier than normal. It's gonna be pretty cold. It is January 14th, 2022. First hunt with my tethered Skeletor Climbing sticks, last hunt of the season for me. Let's see what happens a mile, over a mile back on public land. Well, I made it. About to begin my walk in. I've got a long walk in, so I'm going in light. Gears all on my back, including my rubber boots. I'm walking in in my tennis shoes until I get probably within three to 400 meters of where I'm gonna be hunting. So I'm going in, got in a little bit later than I wanted to. Excited to see what's gonna happen on this last hunt. Public land in Kentucky, bow hunt, using the new tethered uh, Skeletor uh, climbing sticks. So uh, let's see what happens. on state park land. I'm currently on state forest. 50 yards towards that field is the boundary. So I can't shoot anything that way. There's a bow hunt anyway, so I purposely set up to where I wouldn't be tempted to shoot anything that's on that side of the boundary. But that's the primary food source. It's coming this way. Deer will come down off the high ground. to go. Well, I'm headed back out after my first hunt with my tethered skeletors. I uh, saw a coyote, saw two possums, saw a deer, couldn't tell if it was a buck or a doe. Um, it was probably 70 yards, but uh, definitely could tell the difference from using those skeletors, just the ease of going up and down I use climbing spikes and compared to both the climbing spikes and the previous XOP uh, steps that I was using, 
hands down, uh, the Skeletors are a winner. Just so much easier, uh, convenient, the way that the design is to lock it in place, uh, the string that goes around the tree. When you're done with it, the way you can stow it, uh, hands down, yeah, those Skeletors are the way to go. But got a good long walk out of here, a little over a mile to go. It's about 35 degrees. Last hunt uh, for this year. It was a good one. It was a good night to be in. So these tether skeletors uh, worked really well today. Uh, typically I use climbing spurs when I um, hunt public land uh, when legal. I decided uh, I wanted to use these skeletors today. This was my last hunt of the year. And I had not had a chance to uh, use these uh, since I got them right before Christmas. Um, first off, they were pretty easy to get attached to the tree. Uh, the am still is, is more than long enough to get around large trees, which is a problem I had ran into with my XOP steps. <clears throat> and then it was really simple uh, to attach using uh, Tethered's unique method of attachment here where you do the little cross stitch. <clears throat> so that was super simple, it was super easy. Um, I actually attached these onto a tree in my front yard before I went hunting, but I had not actually climbed up anything until uh, I went hunting today publicly in Kentucky. These things were light, uh, they were compact. When I was walking in the woods, I had these attached together to my pack. And uh, the way that Tethered advertised that you can pack these just like this, it's true. Um, had no issues. Came off pretty easy. Let's pop them off. Obviously, you kind of have to be careful. Obviously, it can rattle. You can probably use stealth strips to quiet that down or some other method. I haven't done that yet. I'm still going to add an aider to these, an Amstel aider. Uh, following Greg Godfrey's advice from his G2 Outdoors channel. But today I just use them as if, you know, these came in a box. I pulled them out of the box, attached them to my um, my pack, and I went hunting. And uh, it did exactly as it said it would, which is out of the box, ready to go. So light, uh, easy to attach, easy to climb, easy to um, come down the tree, plenty of foot space, which was something else that with my XOPs I did not have enough foot space. You got all this standoff off the, from the tree where the step is. It was great. So overall, I'm definitely pleased. I'm glad I bought them. It was worth the money. And I look forward to next year uh, using them a lot more in the woods.